Hi, I'm Chris Reed. I'm the Senior Vice President for R&D in the Nissan Technical Center in Farmington Hills, Michigan. I'm going to talk about the all-new 2021 Nissan Rogue. So what we did is we looked at the structure and said, can this be the most efficient structure we need it to be? And so we changed the fundamental structure of the connection of the front to the rear of the vehicle, how the, uh, the side members connect is more fluid and connected. Then we looked at how to make it stronger and more rigid. Well, how do you do that? You do it with high strength steel. Everybody does that, but we've really increased the amount of it. We went from 19 to 30% high strength steel in the body. This is about increasing rigidity, 27% increase in rigidity. At the same time, you know, we want better fuel economy, we want better performance, and how do you do that? Well, mass reduction is always a key part of that. We always did that before, but this is now integrated with the new, new platform. So we took out 20 kilograms of mass. This is about the efficient design, as I talked about, with the kind of the connection of the side members to better absorb the crash uh, you know, issues. In addition to the, to the simplicity of the structure, and finally, with like the closure. So like the hood and the fender and the doors now are gonna be aluminum. This is a big accomplishment from our manufacturing teams to be able to support. But this combination makes for a great structure and a platform to work from. So next is uh, noise and vibration and harshness. We call it MVH. The stiffness of the body really makes a big difference. And then there's the next thing, which is the fundamental layout. So if you take an existing vehicle and you think about the space between the parts, the space of an insulator between the, the dash of the car and the, and the instrument panel, or the steering wheel, or the seats and the floor, you've got to put the right space in the beginning. If you try to fix it later, it doesn't work. So you've got the space that you put for all the various um, you know, insulators and absorbers you know, after starting from the fundamental stiffness of the body. So stiffness, then space, then features, things like the right kind of glass, the right kind of thickness, the right insulators, the right package all together instead of patchwork. This is what we've done. We, we're, we're confident that the MVH will be second to none in the compact SUV segment. Now we're gonna move on to our fundamentals, so kind of handling and the feeling that you get, the confidence that you get when you drive the vehicle. Now how do we do that? Well, we're talking about the suspension. Again, we, we, we spared no expense, new suspension. What do we do? Front and rear, first front. So front, we went from our kind of a conventional layout, a subframe layout that we had, where it was soft mounted. We've changed the whole concept, increase the number of mounts from four to six, and go from a soft to a rigid mount. This is really to give the confidence and the secureness in the handling. In addition to that, we have an all new rear multi-link suspension. This combination will provide the best balance and, and confidence for the driving experience. In addition to that, it's about, now I talk about a driving experience, well, how do you feel that? You feel it through the steering wheel, right? The confidence and the, and the, and the stiffness of the vehicle as you, you're handling, you also feel it through the steering wheel. So that we've taken that now down to the, we call rack mounted EPS, electronic power steering. This is now for better for precision. It's good for the, the customer's feeling of steering corrections, less steering corrections. Um, and it's a, it's a more uh, rigid mount system. This also allows us to enhance the performance of the ProPilot Assist system. This is really key, right? This, the confidence that you get from that system is about the, your perception of how it keeps the lane centering. So precision lane centering is a key benefit of the uh, rack-mounted EPS, electronic power steering system. Our all-new Rogue here has, uh, has a new engine as well, but this engine is common with the Altima, and it's a 2.5 liter DOHC inline four-cylinder engine. So we're getting 181 horsepower. This is plus 11 from the previous model. The torque is up five foot-pounds to 181 foot-pounds. This is that combination of everything though, right? It's the stiffness of the body, it's the mass reduction of the body, it's the new engine, and then we finally link that to the transmission. This is the full package that's eventually gonna give us the fuel economy that we're searching for. So we have this new, um, new system called Vehicle Motion Control. We're gonna say VMC. So this is uh, working in conjunction with our intelligent all-wheel drive system and including things like the new drive mode selector. This is something we noticed where we wanted to improve the snow performance, the sand performance, but this is all about focused performance when you need it. This is what the drive selectors allows you to do. What's unique about it? It's about independent four-wheel control. This is about applying the brakes on the inside of the turn to keep the, the, the trace, right? Keep you on your line. Then when you're coming out of the turn, you're getting, you feel a little spunky, right? Hitting the gas. Well, that's like understeer problem, right? You're coming off your line. No, this is really applying the technology to keep those lines. And, and other things like active engine braking, uh, kind of bounce control, where you can actually control the brakes to keep it stable. This is about your confidence and feeling and connection to the vehicle on the road. So now let's talk about the all-wheel drive system. 
uh, we have a direct coupling all-wheel drive system. This is really cool because we talked a lot about, we kind of evolved our all-wheel drive system. This is really from the past, which was like a mechanical system that would detect slip and then switch to all-wheel drive, the ratio, right? We had a continuous ratio of, of front to rear balance. This is the different. This is about using the inputs across the, uh, all the, the vehicle, about speed, conditions, um, kind of inputs, steering inputs, and make a, electro, a decision, like electronically, to apply the, 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 the all-wheel drive based on those conditions. So it really becomes from kind of a triggered uh, re reaction to kind of an anticipated reaction. So anyways, it's a smarter system. It's really gonna, it's gonna work. As a package, this is really gonna make for a great driving experience and give you, the customer a lot of confidence. I just wanted to give you a high level view of the new Rogue. All the engineering improvements, this is gonna be amazing. They're gonna be in the background, but the customer is gonna have an amazing experience. Go to nissanusa.com. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the vehicle, can't wait for you to drive it.